We give thanks to thee. To show our gratitude, we give thee an enchantment that will help thee deflect flame. The journal of Etrius should prove helpful in cleansing our order of this vile infiltration. And thy gift should prove helpful in the fiery future we all face. What madness is this? The battle has begun. The city is under siege by vampires and mortals alike. Prince Rudolph is slain. The Zemitsi within Visserod Castle have been revealed to the townspeople, who even now mount a witch-burning campaign against them and all kindred. The castle will not stand. We have won! Aneska may be prisoner of the Zemitsi. We must fly to Visserod Castle. Thou hast grown strong, child. Thou hast learned to harness the gifts I have bequeathed thee. But this evil is far greater than any thou hast known. Visserod is a tomb. I forbid a venture there, and all who enter will surely die. I am already dead thanks to thee, or didst thou forget? Now I go. Wait, Kristoff, I join thee. Sorry, Ekaterina. I cannot abandon him now. Poor fool, Wilhelm. I thought thou wouldst teach Kristoff. Now I see thou art the pupil, and Kristoff the teacher. Mayhap his futile quest shall lead thee to thy demise. Trembled in the shadow of this hell-hated mountain. 
Let us wage bloody war upon these fiends. I pray that our righteous fires burn this wicked castle to the roots and cleanse the land of all evildoers. Where's Inezka? Did Kristoff kill him? Kristoff, the murderer of Othra! Kristoff, the butcher of countless primacies! Kristoff, ravager of the impenetrable Tremere fortress! Perhaps we should flee! Fools! He's only a fledgling! Kill him! Come, fools! Thy final death awaits! To the abyss with you! Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Cultic Council of Voyevodes, Lords of Clan Simitsi, most grave charges put to Voyevode Ogadak, scourge of the Kakathians. Thou art called to answer. Hast thou, Voyevode Ogadak, issued the blasphemous decree that thou art performing conjurations crafted to usurp the mantle of our grandsires? petition to cease his mad scheme, even in the face of the opposition of the Council. The Voyevodes cannot approve the waxing visibility of his acts, for in proclaiming his mad ambition to grow in stature to rival the ancient Canaanites, he hath drawn much unwanted attention from the other clans and other powerful and jealous forces who even now meddle in our affairs. Therefore, it is my grave duty to propose that the Council attack the wayward Voivod, destroy him utterly, and seize his extensive holdings for dispersal among the remaining Voivods in payment for our great exertions in disposing of him. I await ratification by Council. Voivod Otto.
Annals of Voyevod Ardo, Viceroy, Council of Voyevods, Master of the Hellhounds, Sculptor of the Flesh of Thousands, Revenger of Wayward Voyevods. Let it be known to all present that the Council of Voyevods have issued the following decree unto all Lords of the Genitsi. Voyevod Vukodlak have committed acts of grave offense against clan elders who here gather to address the misdeeds of the renegade ruler. Vukodlak hath refused to cease his mad scheme, even in the face of the indignant opposition of the council. Thus it is agreed by all here assembled that his domain shall be stripped and divided among the remaining voyevods. Yet with deference to those voyevods who correctly point out the considerable risks of outright warfare, the Council shall fight Vukodlak with a mighty conjuration that shall plunge the disloyal Voyevod into a grievous torpor that shall last twenty centuries. Perhaps in that time he shall learn humility. Thus he hath seen his own fate, well ratified by our law and heraldry. To the master who holdeth my soul, I still feel thy pull across the depths to your realm of sleep, and thus am ever faithful. Such of the children, revenants and ghouls as survive the raid of the Council of Voivods have kept thy slumbering form safe, until such time as we can call thee for. Until then, I shall keep accurate account of thy affairs in the waking world. Vibusa, the Defiled. To the master who holdeth my soul. We miserable exiles have known only the road and brief shelter among the frightened mortals of the Carpathian. There is no safety for us here. We must reach Bohemia, in the newly established township called Prague. We may at long last have ranged beyond the reach of the hated council. And then we may begin the measureless task of breaking the vile sorcery that locks thy lofty presence away from us. Then let the world shudder at thy resurrection. Lebusa, the Defiant.
to the master who holdeth my soul. Prague hath proved a most hospitable haven. Our work proceeds apace, and thy children to embrace many of the herd, to swell our ranks. Though the embraced are, perhaps, not of the finest stock, as were the children thou didst choose, one must not condemn the teeth of the mare one has stolen. If they have embraced a bumpkin, well, then we have one more bumpkin that may defile innocence and hasten thy dread resurrection. Whereupon the world will quake in dread, and mortal, voivod, and antediluvian alike shall fall naked and helpless before thy wrath. Yibusa, the defiant. To the abyss with it! <laughs> The master who holdeth my soul. What offense have I committed, O dread lord, that thou wouldst raise up to my station a newcomer? Dost thou disdain my growing lunacy? Tis but a momentary midday madness that strikes when thy commands ebb. Yet my faculties return with the shades of night. What charms hath this novice that she should rival my station within thy dark domain? Her defilement is not even complete. I fear any trust in her is misplaced. I trust her not and would end her life ere she causes some mischief. Lebusa, the defiant.
Luis Reyes. I do withdraw. me. Thy wrath. Nezka, I sought thee for love. So predictable, so pathetically predictable. Like all oafish mortal men, thou come a-trotting when a woman beckons. Oh, how thy sinful words offend mine ears. Did not thy carnal lust die with thy mortal flesh? Love, love that is pure, love can release thee. 
only the bards and the diseased of mind pay heed to such rot. Oh, fair Inezka, what have they done to thee? All manner of delightful things. I am thoroughly defiled now, and it is all because of thee. Forgive me, Inezka. I never meant harm to come to thee. But thou harmed me all the same. I will enjoy the taste of thy Bruja blood. It is so clean compared to the sweet corruption of Zamitzi blood. Bid the devil greetings from me, for I send thee to hell! Alista is mine now, Willem. Another of my servants that awaits me in my slumber. Even now she grows strong as my blood courses through her veins. As I rise to meet the night sky of the new millennium, the very antediluvians must shudder in fear. Oh, release me! I shall protect thee from these monsters. I have a ceremony of resurrection to perform. Be gone! Nay! The wolves all about us! Release me! Never! Nesca! Father Alicius that it's a rock. Then we get over it. Crystal's dove. Arise, Nice. Thou art in grave danger. Where is she? H who? Trifle not with me, servant of the Zemitsi. For the hunger is so great in me. I would gladly squeeze all thy blood from thee, and still not be sated. Where is Anesca? I don't know any Anesca. Where is thy master? For if such a one as I survived, surely the ancient Vukadlok endures still. I don't know anybody named Vukadlok. Thou speaks the language of England but in a manner most passing strange. Who is thy master mortal? Would the society of Leopold? I know them not. We slay vampires. <laughs> My name is Christoph Romuald. I was a man of God and a soldier in heaven's cause. I am now outcast of heaven and not even a man. I am kindred. I am a vampire. 